So, good morning, everyone, or good afternoon if you're on the East Coast. Um, I'm delighted to be here with you uh, for this MTNA webinar. I'm uh, very grateful to MTNA for giving me the opportunity to speak to you guys. Um, so, uh, hello, Atlanta. Good morning or good afternoon, whichever it is for you there. Um, so, just before we uh, get going, just a little bit of housekeeping. You can see the chat uh, bar at the side there. If you have any questions for me, feel free to uh, type them in there. I'm going to just do the presentation, keep going, um, and then I'll respond to the, the, the questions at the end. Uh, but feel free to write them as you go along, because I know sometimes you forget um, what you were, your train of thought was. Um, if for any reason we're, we're out of time and I don't get to answer all those questions, uh, my final slide will have my email address on it. You are very welcome to contact me and uh, I can answer there, or we can also do that through the um, members only section on the MT MTNA website. Um, I'll also be posting uh, the slides on that, uh, on the members only section. Um, so there are some references in there from, from some of the research I mentioned. So if you want to do further reading, you'll have access to those. And uh, also the, the, the webinar will be there to, to review again if you want to sit through it all again. Um, so that's the uh, kind of housekeeping side of things. Um, but just to introduce myself, my name is Jenny Morton. I'm a, an osteopath. You can probably tell from my accent, I am originally from England, uh, but I'm now living in Los Angeles, California. I spend a lot of my time treating injured musicians and uh, working to help them get uh, back to playing. Uh, I also help them just work on optimizing their playing. Let's find a way that we can make you more efficient with your playing, free up the artistry. Um, and I'm also the uh, wellness professor at the Colburn School, where I teach a wellness course that runs for the whole of the fall semester. All the freshmen, whether they're undergraduate, postgraduate, have to um, uh, take this course. It's mandatory. And we cover everything from the anatomy of the body. How does your shoulder joint work? How do you fit that around a violin? Or uh, we look at the anatomy of the spine, all those sorts of things. But we also look at the psychological aspect. What makes you creative? What does that do to your thought processes? Um, perfectionism, performance anxiety, all those things. And that's really what we're going to be sort of looking at today, because while we have become a lot better um, in recent years at addressing issues of um, postural alignment, ergonomics around the instrument in order to manage injuries, we perhaps haven't looked quite so closely at the psychological components. And thought processes are not just nebulous kind of things that are going on in our minds. There are tangible links to the physiology of our body and actually we can increase our injury risk by the way we're thinking. And that's kind of what we're going to pick apart today. So I'm going to share my slides now. This may take a few seconds for them to come up. So don't worry if it doesn't come up straight away. Um, but there we go. So you should be seeing those slides coming up now. Um, so we're looking at the emotional practice environment. So whilst we can set ourselves up beautifully um, in terms of our body alignment in the practice room, are we doing the same? Are we paying the same level of, of attention to our thought processes? And why should we? What? what why is this um, important? So we're going to be looking at the, you know, there's sort of a, a, a Western um idea that um, everything in our head is some nebulous thought process that has no connection to the body. But anything that goes on in the brain is just chemical processes, it's electrical activity, and those are going to be spread throughout the whole body via the bloodstream, via our nervous system. And that's really what we're going to be uh, exploring uh, today, how what are those connections, and why do we need to be mindful of them? 